this is Amy Story with Bright Agrotech, and I'm here with Brooke Wollert, and we just finished our first round of microgreen trials, where we were testing red rain, kale, and radish microgreens. So Brooke is going to tell us a little bit about how she set that up, and the results that we got um, that could be useful to you as a microgreens grower. So for this trial, we've actually harvested the most uh, produce out of all the trials that we did. We've harvested up to a pound of kale and a pound of red rain. The kale was seeded at uh, 1.3 ounce seeds and left in for 12 days. And the red rain was at 0 0.9 ounce seed density for uh, 12 days also. And then for the radish, we harvested over two pounds. And that was at 2.5 ounce seed density set again for 12 days. And then, but that's the greatest harvest weight that we found and the greatest growth rate that we found. Uh, for kale, we found at 0 0.5 ounce seed density for 10 days. For radish, it was one ounce seed density for 12 days. And then re red rain was at 0 0.5 ounce seed density for 12 days. Awesome. That's huge. That is huge. Compared to previous harvest, those are all quite large. What have you been doing differently to get that harvest, or the, to get that yield out of there? I think a lot of the reason that uh, the harvest that we did recently was so large was because we left it in there for 12 days as opposed to 10 or 7 days. And having just those two extra days really helped the microgreens to shoot up. They were almost past the point of being microgreens at that point. Wow, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. So in the next trials, you are going to be testing which crops? I'm going to be testing red cabbage, Persian cress, and black oil sunflowers. So stay tuned for the information on yield and timelines for those crops. And as always, if you have any comments or ideas or questions about these microgreen trials, please leave them in the comments below.